to Alexandra because the weather today, I got outside, I was by the lakefront, and the breeze was nice. Mm -hmm. The sun was a little hot, but it felt better than it has felt. And that is going to be pretty much it, Winnie. <laughs> as, as, tomorrow, though, it will be a little different because it will actually be even less humid. So that's the difference that would be the exception that I would say. But yes, today we were humid. Still our dew point near 70, our humidity still near 60%, but our temperature now at 86. But tomorrow we'll have the heat, but also that drier air. So right now, upper 70s to lower and maybe even middle 80s and then we our winds are coming in now from the north and northwest a bit breezy for sure like Whitney was saying at the lakefront 20 mile per hour winds reported there as we have a front moving in and it spawned a couple of showers earlier today you may have gotten lucky and gotten a few drops of rain we are expecting this to continue toward our coast so our humidity forecast it goes down tomorrow but look at these browns getting even more uh, noticeable by monday and that's indicating that dry feel to the air so that will definitely be something to look forward to tomorrow we could also do with temperatures maybe in the 70s to go along with that a lot of us wouldn't mind but we're not quite there yet but dew point temperatures coming down from around 70 all the way into the 50s. So this is that measure of humidity when it gets into the 50s for that dew point temperature. Different, of course, from the air temperature. That's when you really start to feel that almost, dare I say, fall like kind of feel for mornings and evenings. Anyway, I think it will feel very noticeably different. Here's one front. Here's another little shot of air tomorrow and notice not a lot of rain at all for tonight or tomorrow. In fact, we're pretty much finished with the rain chances all the way until the end of the week. Tonight, north and south of Lake Pontchartrain, we're expecting upper 60s to 70s. We are turning less humid even tonight, but especially through the day tomorrow. May have a few morning clouds, but then I think the sun should come out and our temperatures still kind of hot tomorrow, about 93. Here's your planner for tomorrow. Again, the sunshine coming out, so still need the sunscreen, but that break in mugginess is going to feel pretty nice. Looking at our temperature forecast, tomorrow is still pretty hot, but those fronts may bring the drier air as well as maybe a break by a couple of degrees in temperatures. But even toward the end of the week, we're still talking about high temperatures just at or maybe even still a little above the average, which is 88 at this point in the year. Looking quickly at those fall firsts, on average, our first high in the 70s comes toward the end of September. Don't think we're going to make it this year. October 5th is the average first low in the 50s. October 20th. 22nd, the first on average high in the 60s. And by the way, those nights in the 50s were that first chilly night. A couple of years ago, that happened in September. At the end of September, we were already hitting 50s for lows. The other years, except for last year, it wasn't too far from now, October 1st, but three of the other years uh, more toward Halloween than we see that. We do have the new tropical storm. This is Nigel starting to get a little better appearance, although it's a little bit lopsided right now. Way out in the Atlantic will probably become a hurricane, maybe even a category two. And this is another one that's going to stay out over the water for a long time, just really churning and producing energy and eventually weakening over those cooler North Atlantic waters. Not a threat to land, it looks like at this point. And then Lee, you can see bringing the rain to Maine and also to Nova Scotia and parts of Maritime Canada expected to continue weakening. We have another wave that's going to be moving off the coast of Africa, but not yet. In fact, it only has a 30% chance of development through the week. So we'll watch it. But as I've been saying, models not really getting too excited or aggressive with developing it. And then we have still tropical storm Margo out there. So now that we have Nigel, we're past the peak of hurricane season. The name storms we've had this year is 14 plus that unnamed subtropical system in January. 14 is the average number of storms for an entire season. So we're seeing that trend lately with the higher numbers, especially for named storms because we have better detection uh, tools able to see this out in the Atlantic for those small storms that don't last very long. Average at this point in the year is nine and last year we had six, only six named storms at this point. So a lot going on, but no threats for us. Our seven day forecast shows temperatures around 90. Our rain chance is staying pretty slim until the end of the week, about a 20% rain chance, maybe Thursday. And we'll see about next weekend. We might get another little front making it slightly less humid. Not for sure yet, but we'll keep you updated.